This video is designed to help you with leading digit estimation or approximation, meaning taking a fairly complicated uh, set of multiplications and divisions and getting an approximate answer to that or a rounded answer to that using leading digit uh, techniques. So what that means is when we're looking at 3,210, we only want to round it to that leading digit and we're looking at 5.321 we only want to look at the leading digit on this so our goal is to get a rough range for the answer so 3210 we can write as 3 times 10 to the third or since it's approximately 3000 and that was being multiplied by 10 to the third and this is approximately 5 times 10 to the negative 5. Now what this is going to allow us to do is keep track of the leading digits and get an approximate answer for those and then keep track of the powers of 10 which allows us to get the size right. We may need to fix it as we do in scientific notation so that the answer is just a single leading digit uh, which we can write either in scientific notation format with one significant digit or we can write as a um, number, it, a standard notation number. So when we rearrange this, what we get is 3 times 5 times 10 to the third times 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth, negative fifth, excuse me. And when we put the 3 and the 5 together, we're going to get 15. And when we put the 10 to the thirds and the 10 to the third and the 10 to the negative fifth together, we're going to get 10 to the 6th times 10 to the negative 5. So those 5 will cancel with 5 of the 10 to the 6th powers. And we're going to wind up with 10 to the 1st. Now this is a, not an answer that in proper scientific notation format. So we're going to need to fix it. In addition to which, um, we want to do a, a second set of rounding and round this guy up. Um, so 15 is going to be approximately 2 times 10 to the 1st times 10 to the first and this will give us an answer of approximately 2 times 10 squared also known as about 200. This is not perfect but it's going to give us a rough idea. Now notice that we rounded 3210 down and we rounded 5.321 down and yet when we got 15 we wound up rounding up to 2 or to 20 rather and so, you know, that kind of trade-off in rounding, generally speaking, is going to give you a fairly close answer. Um, our goal basically is just to get the ballpark so that not only do we know the leading digit roughly, but we also know the power of 10. So when we get this number here, or know that there are two zeros, then that tells us that we're in the hundreds, and it's probably somewhere around 200. Go on to the next slide and we'll look at three more examples. Here's another problem um, that we'd like to do with leading digit approximation. So 34.96 is approximately 35, but if we're going to take it strictly speaking, we're going to round that to about 30. So we're going to say 3 times 10 to the first. Uh, 0 0.002 is actually 2 times 10 to the negative third, be careful, do not round that to zero or round it to one or something. It's a decimal. It is two as the leading digit and times 10 to the negative third. So this practice in writing in scientific notation is actually quite useful for doing this and helping you keep track of the size of the numbers. Um, the five stays as a five. We have 10 to the 18th. And then 601.3 is simply approximately 6 times 10 squared. Now, we're going to bring the um, leading digits together. So that's 3 times 2 times 5 times 6. And we're going to collect our 10s. And we can count them together. If we look at it, this is 1. This is negative 3. This is 2. So the 1 and the 2 cancel the negative 3, which means all we have left are 10 to the 18th. In other words, the first 10 and the last two 10s that we're multiplying by when we re rearrange them, that's 10 to the third, and that of course cancels 10 to the negative third, because 10 to the third is t uh, three tens on the numerator, and 10 to the negative third is three tens multiplied by each other on the denominator. So this is a fairly straightforward way of uh, getting an answer here. Um, 
At this point, you have lots of options for simplifying this section. Uh, what I would have a tendency to do is put the 3 and the 6 together and say that this is approximately 18 times, and since the 2 and the 5 give us another 10, we have 10 to the 1st times 10 to the 18th. We're going to we're going to round 18 to leading digit again to 2 times 10 to the 1st times 10 to the 1st times 10 to the 18th and then we're going to collect all, all of our 10s. So this is going to give us an answer of approximately 2 times 10 to the 20th. Um, let's do a couple of uh, more complicated ones with some division involved and see how that goes in especially um, dealing with the leading digits and the simplifying. So here's a division problem, which we're going to do in exactly the same way, taking care of the numerator and the denominator, and then try to put those together by sorting out the leading digits. So the numerator, of course, is going to be 5 times 10 to the 5th, times 4 times 10 to the 3rd, because 3,786 is approximately 4,000 with the leading digit, times, and 14.92 is close to halfway between 10 and 20, but we're going to just call it 10, and then times 10 to the 15th. That's going to give us our numerator. So essentially we do the numerator just like the previous two problems and the denominator just like the previous two problems and then sort it out. 41 becomes 4 times 10 to the first. 8.95 just becomes 9 times 10 to the 17th. 308 is simply 3 times 10 squared and 0.13 is simply 1 tenth, or 1 times 10 to the negative first. So now we're going to rearrange the numerator to 5 times 4 times and collect count our tens. So if we count our tens, we have 5, 3 more is 8, 1 more is 9, 9 plus 15 is 24, so we have 10 to the 24th. And on the denominator, we put all our leading digits together, 4 times 9 times 3. We can, of course, ignore the 1. Um, so, um, you know, anything times 1 is itself, so we don't need to write that as a factor. And then we need to collect our 10s again. So we're going to look at these, and there's one of them, and 17 of them is 18. And 2 more is 20, and dividing by 1 is 19. So we should get 10 to the 19th here. Um, now, what you're really going to want to do is treat this as if you were doing a scientific notation problem. So you want to sort out what all of these guys give you. And you want to sort out what all of these guys give you. And of course, if you look at the 10s, that's going to give you 10 to the 5th power with 5 um, 10s left over on the numerator. And if we look at the if we look at the leading digits, we're going to see that we can cancel the two fours, and we're going to get five over twenty-seven. So we're going to get five over twenty-seven times ten to the fifth. Now, what we have to do is sort out five over twenty-seven. This is approximately one fifth. So what we really have is approximately one fifth, which you can think of. So there's a couple ways to finish this problem. You can think of this as 1 fifth times 10 to the fifth. You can simply do the long division and realize that 1 fifth is 0 0.2 times 10 to the fifth. And then you can fix this using your standard um, scientific notation steps of 2 times 10 to the negative 1 times 10 to the fifth and winding up at approximately 2 times 10 to the fourth. You could also look at this and go, okay, 5 over 27 is roughly 1 fifth, but we have 10 times 10 to the fourth on the top. In other words, 10 to the fifth is 10 to the first times 10 to the fourth. But when you do 5 divided by 27, you get approximately 1 over 5, roughly. Okay, so what that means is there's a 5 on the denominator, and the reason I pulled out a 10 is that 5 goes into 10 two times, so you're going to get approximately 2 times 10 to the 4th again. Alternate ways of sorting out the fractions, look for some number sense things that are going to work out really nicely. Here's one more uh, fairly complicated example of leading digit approximation. So 
you could try pause this video and try this yourself. Um, but again, we're going to do it just like we did the previous problem. So we're going to step up and we're going to say 100,096 is roughly 1 times 10 to the 5th. In other words, we forget the 96 and we just get the right size number. 4.3 is approximately 4, so 4 times 10 to the 7th. We have a random 10 to the negative 21 sitting there. We have 3.219, which we're going to call 3 times 10 to the 1st. Once again, nice easy uh, manipulation of these problems. Now 90,325 is roughly 9 times 10 to the 4th. And you could argue that we could have thought about canceling these two guys directly off the bat because they're roughly the same size. But you can sort this out any way you want, and this would be one way to do it. Um, times 10 to the 11th, excuse me, 10 to the 11th, times 23, which is roughly 2 times 10 to the 1st, times 18, which again is roughly 2 times 10 to the 1st, 10 to the negative 7, and 10 to the 3rd. So, once again, we'll sort out the leading digits. So on the numerator, we have a 4 and a 3 left. And if we keep track of our 10s, we have 5 of them, and 7 of them is 12. One more is 13, and negative 21 as the exponent. So negative 21 and 13 is going to give us, um, let's see, 12, 13, negative 8, uh, assuming I did that correctly. Sorry, I should have written that in um, black ink, but there we go. We're going to call that negative 8. And then on the denominator, we're going to have a 9 and a 2 and a 2. And we'll collect our 10s, and we've got 4 of them, and 11 of them is 15. One more is 16. One more is 17 divide by seven of them so that's 10 and three more is 13 so we should get 10 to the 13th um, now we go into canceling mode and we're gonna be able to say four and two twos cancel we're gonna be able to say the three and the nine cancel leaving us a one on the top and a three on the bottom so what that means and if we cancel the uh, oops this is 10 to the negative eight of course um, and if we do 10 to the negative 8 over 10 to the 13th, that's going to give us 10 to the negative 21. Check your scientific notation videos or your um, sorting out powers of 10 videos or topics folder to kind of double check how to do that. Um, if you wanted to think about it, you could think of this off to the side as 10 to the negative 8 over 10 to the 13th and multiply both the top and the bottom by what cancels 10 to the negative 10 to the 13th which is 10 to the negative 13th so when you multiply both the top and bottom by 10 to the negative 13th you're just multiplying by 1 that means you have 8 on the denominator and 13 more on the denominator so you have 21 on the denominator and that's your 10 to the negative 21 so there's a little work off to the side and what we also have is 1 third now 1 third is approximately 0.3 so you can write this as 0 0.3 times 10 to the negative 21 and of course fixing this to put it into proper scientific notation means that we're going to get 3 times 10 to the negative 1 times 10 to the negative 21 which is going to give us an answer of about 3 times 10 to the negative 22. I hope this has been of help.